Stoop Stomka. Oh man, and, and uh, fucking Trav, man. I tell you, what a great band. And I, I, I was dubious about you adding the other chord, but it seems to work. See, so just ride those three chords to stars, boys. So anyway, I'm King Spoet, um, and I kind of feel like a fraud when I'm up here because I'm not really a stand-up. I'm a sensitive poet. I cry my little tears into my journal, and it's such beautiful women here. I usually get like uh, Island of Dr. Moreau. But we got some beautiful women up front, and uh, can I do some love poetry for you, man? More accurately, haikus of my favorite sexual positions. <laughs> Nothing says loving like a brutal Dutch oven. Blanket Auschwitz. Blumpkin's fun way to make toilet dirty. Two different ways. Blumpkin's much more fun when she cleans the toilet. First, while naked. The Cleveland steamer. I shit on my lover's chest. Smells like victory. The Dirty Sanchez, a trip to Mexico with poop-covered dick. The Dirty Sanchez, everyone's Picasso with poop-covered dick. The Dirty Sanchez, my poop dick says you need an awesome mustache. <laughs> with dick up her ass, donkey punch girl's head. yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> Dead prostitute, not so warm and fresh, but is a bargain. <laughs> My lover is onion, cause I cry, cry, when I cut her. <laughs> oh, that, this is a joke! It's a joke! I don't cut my girlfriend. She cuts herself, <laughs> just to feel something. How about some poetry that rhymes? There once was a tranny named Dinah, who was sad, for she had no vagina. Each day she'd do tricks and suck lots of dicks. For a cunt, I fuck North Carolina! There once was a tranny named Davy who wanted to serve in the Navy. He said, what the hell? There's no don't ask, don't tell. In a boat full of men, all is gravy. <laughs> a horny necrophiliac Lindsay despised pedophiles' lack of courtesy. Oh, he'd fuck Gran in the eye as soon as you said goodbye. But he waited for John Bidet Ramsey. <laughs> now, you say it's a too soon, right? But... You don't just do a John Bidet Ramsey, pedophilia, necrophilia limerick. You don't write that without doing your research. This August, she'd be 22 years old. Yeah. Her corpse is legal. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so I was doing my research for my bits and reading the lives of poets. No, it wasn't lives of poets. I was reading... Wikipedia, that wasn't Wikipedia. Urban Dictionary. I was reading Urban Dictionary. And you know what those crazy cuckoo kids are doing? They're making up new sexual positions and naming them after the celebrities. There's the Tony Danza. That's when you take your good lady wife, or boyfriend, whatever, no, no judgments here, from behind. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? And if they turn around, you go, Pow! Tony Danza! That's who's a fucking boss! <laughs> There's the Richard Dawkins. That's just regular straight sex. Just admit the oh gods. <laughs> There's a Jane Goodall, that's when you masturbate while you watch monkeys fuck. Bobo's going bananas on that ass. There's the Oprah Winfrey, that's when you run a, tra a train on a rich woman, and you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car! There's the Whitney Houston. Basically just an Ike and Tina Turner. Only uh, more crack, less talent, and you die. <laughs> There's the different strokes. That's a four-way with uh, two crackheads and a dwarf while Grandpa watches. There's the Betty White. That's when you get peed on by four grandmothers. The Golden Girls. There's the Mel Gibson. That's when you're a fucking tie prostitute in the front seat of the last of the interceptors while your dog watches in the back seat with a stick in his mouth, attached to a shotgun, pointed at the girl's head, driving through a post-apocalyptic wasteland. You get pulled over by the Jews. <laughs> There's the Carlos Mencia. That's when you're at an orgy, you're fucking in the exact same position as the guy right next to you, wearing a sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> There's the, um, the Bill Cosby. That's when you're a civil rights legend. Have sex with your good lady wife. Five beautiful kids, send them all to college. 
while telling humorous anecdotes about your childhood to Bill Cosby. <laughs> it's not crapping on a prostitute in a tub full of pudding. That's not Bill Cosby. That's not Dr. Cosby. It's not choke fucking Lisa Bonet till she throws up fruity pebbles on your sweater. That's not Bill Cosby. That's not Dr. Cosby. It's not a three-way with Theo and Rudy on a giant mound of defrosting buddy pops. It's not Bill Cosby. It's Dr. Cosby wouldn't do that. I like to end this with a song. Everybody knows I'm a singer? Dusty plains of Texas, oh, one lone cowpoke roll. One lone lesbian cowpoke, the roach called her home. A dyke all clad in leather, no dildo did she own. Poor lesbian cowpoke, for a fistin' she did moan. She prowled all the dyke bars from El Paso to L.A. Yeah! Leather gloves or latex, a fistin' all the way. Never lost a wristwatch in the cavern she did roam. Poor lesbian cowpoke. <laughs> For a fist and she did moan. If he I if he I O Poor lesbian cowpoke. For a fist and she did moan. Then one day in Juarez she heard a loud low roar. Coming from a Harley up through the town it tore. Upon it was the biggest dyke this cowpoke ever seen. And in her beefy fingers, a jar of Vaseline. If he I fingers, a jar of Vaseline. That big dyke pulled a six gun and put it to her head. Said, you'd better be a fist and good or you will end up dead. Cowpoke had a shudder, shook her to her soul. Oh, when she stuck her fist in the smelly, hairy hole. Yippee-i-o! Yippee-i-o! When she stuck her fist in the smelly, hairy hole, that big guy dropped her six gun and let out a yell. Said, you're a fist in me so good, you'll fist me straight to hell. I just couldn't take it when goodbye you wave. I want to lock you up at home. You'll be my pleasure slave. Yippee-i-o! Yippee-i-o! Poor fistin', chained up fistin', lesbian cowpoke blues. Poor fistin', chained up in leather, chained up in leather, Blues. Poor lesbian chained up to the radiator in the dungeon. Lesbian cowpoke blues. I can smell it. Now I'd like to introduce Junior Slavka Junior. I'll tell you who gives the best head: a vagina.